In this video, I am going to review the latest edition of Objective Food Science by Sanjeev Sharma sir. Hey, how are you doing today? Welcome back to the channel. This is Arib Irshad and you are watching Food Tech Simplified where I make simple and easy to understand lectures, videos and tutorials for the students of food science and technology. So if you are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon as well so that you don't miss my upcoming videos. Well, some of you might be thinking that uh, I failed for my December goal. I, I had promised that I will post one video per day for the month of December and uh, uh, I missed by six or seven videos I didn't post for the last week. So basically I had not planned for any kind of uh, unexpected obstacles or contingencies along the way and uh, I could not see that FSSI was organizing Eat Right Mela. Uh, I could not see that coming and I was so engaged uh, in the last week of December in Eat Right Mela in my duties that I could not post and I could not make any kind of videos. Now uh, I'm not taking that as an excuse to not post any videos but what I am trying to say, what the moral of the story is that I had not planned for any kind of contingencies or any kind of unexpected obstacles and if you are preparing for any kind of uh, examination and this is the beginning of 2020 so you might have set up some goals for 2020. So make sure that you uh, plan ahead and make sure that you plan for contingencies as well. Make sure you are planning for unexpected obstacles because this is life and anything could happen potentially. So make sure you are planning for contingencies. Alright so let us jump right into today's video. So the objective food science the ninth revised and enlarged edition. Uh, the one thing that I really like about this book this is like a one-stop solution for the students of food science and technology who are preparing for either for ICER exam or GATE exam or CFTRA exam as well. So let me go through the index of this book and I will just briefly describe each and every uh, point that is really valuable or relatable for the students of food science and technology. The contents of the book, there are 10 major contents or 10 major units, uh, you can say 10 major sections. The four sections, the first four sections, food microbiology, food engineering, food chemistry and food technology. These are the four sections. Now, uh, the best part about this book, uh, one of the best part about this book is obviously these four sections, food microbiology, food engineering, food chemistry and food technology. I'm not sure if you will be able to see this or if the camera will be able to focus on it but I will make sure that I uh, post a screenshot of this book of the content. So basically uh, food microbiology again is divided into subtopics and there are a lot of MCQs for each section and their answers are given at the end of the of each section as well and food technology is one of the uh, I think lengthiest section in the book because it has about uh, Oh, no, 13 sections it has about 13 sections so food technology has about 13 sections and uh, the best part about these four sections that I love is that there are subtopics now for example if you want to practice just let's say that you have studied food editors from Shakuntala Mani's food facts and principles and now you want to practice the question of specific food editors chapter so you can just take this book uh, go to chapter number four Go to page number 187 and boom, you're there. Uh, there will be questions for food editors. So let me just give you an, an example. 187. Okay, here it is. So there are questions uh, like chemical preservatives that are added to tomato sauce, benzoic acid, uh, what is the effective pH range. So let's say that you have studied a specific chapter. Uh, let's say that you have studied meat, poultry and seafood. There will be a section about that in this book. So you can practice that specific section from this book. The fifth section of this book is matching type questions. Now a lot of times uh, in gate examination I have seen that there are matching type questions. So this comes in really handy if you are preparing for gate examination as well. Now uh, another thing that I really want to appreciate about this book that there is supplement material for CFTR exam. Now. Uh, if, you, if you have seen my earlier two videos on CFDR exam, there are 13 sections or 13 subjects that you have to study to appear in the exam. Now you may not be able to study all the 13 uh, subjects because obviously that becomes a lot a, a tedious task to do and uh, Sanjeev sir has done a brilliant job because he has provided some supplementary material because a lot of students have asked me that uh, 
okay we can study food science by norman border for food technology or food science but uh, what about chemistry physics and what about biology so uh, some of the questions have been given in this book from page number 363 to 432 now the supplement material uh, for the cftr entrance exam is available for chemistry physics mathematics agriculture and biology and uh, it could be a downside for this book that uh, uh, subjects like home science horticulture and other subjects that are that appear in the CFTR exam are not available but don't let that stop you from buying this book because I think uh, you can also study those subjects from basic books or from internet as well because the questions are not too are not in depth and if you are just focusing let's say that you are a graduate student a BSc student from food science so I would recommend to focus on BSc concept on the uh, food science and food technology concepts rather than going into physics and chemistry because uh, that will become really tedious and 13 subjects altogether becomes a lot more tedious now the seventh section of the book is also interesting there are some short technical essays on microbiological staining microbial staining technique microbiological culture media food biotechnology actually I made a video on the food biotechnology from this section uh, so this can also come in really handy if you are preparing for assignments let's say so food security is there electrophoresis there are some short technical essays uh, chromatography is there as well and HACCP must also be there because I had seen yes HACCP is also there so this can come in really handy if you have to study uh, some of the specific subjects and I really appreciate that Sanjeev sir managed to uh, put in these short technical essays in this book as well now the eighth section the glossary is really interesting I, and what i found interesting about this is that uh, there are a lot of keywords in food science and food technology and they have been arranged alphabetically so it's a kind of a small uh, food science and food technology dictionary that is available in this book so from a to z whatever uh, are the concepts or keywords in food science and techno uh, technology and the major keywords have been mentioned in this book and I really love this and so basically there are a lot of keywords for example there is affinity chromatography there is agitating retort adolases alpha tocopherol actually I have I haven't really gone through the whole uh, keywords but this can come in really handy if you are searching for a specific uh, keyword and you don't know its meaning so you can just go to the glossary section of this book and search for it it's like a dictionary it's like a dictionary of food science and technology and i'm just really amazed that uh, sanjeev sir has managed to uh, put this dictionary in between this book because this uh, book is really meant for practicing mcqs but the bulkiness of this book suggests that there are there are a lot of sections that have been established in this book and i really really appreciate the effort that had been that has been put in to uh, accumulate all the keywords and arrange them alphabetically now obviously one of the most important section for a lot of students is the previous year question papers now the cftri entrance exam uh, question papers from 1998 till 2018 have been given in this book and for gate food technology uh, i think about yeah gate 2000 till the gate 2018 the questions have been given in this book specifically for food technology so you won't be able to find if you are just like let's say that you are preparing for a gate in life science stream so you won't find other questions like general aptitude or the chemistry section or maybe biochemistry section so you will specifically find the questions uh, for food technology now again there are past year questions for icer pg and jrf and asrb net exam as well uh, one thing also that i appreciate about it is that there are questions there there is the entrance exam uh, questions for bhu entrance exam now i really don't know much about bhu entrance exam but i really appreciate that uh, these have been assembled and put in now as i mentioned earlier this book is like a one complete package for the students of food science and technology who are preparing for any kind of examination that is connected with food science and technology so uh, and you could also say that i am really biased towards sanjeev sir uh, sanjeev sir's book because he is my mentor and uh, maybe i am biased okay i don't know but i really appreciate this book because this is i think this is probably the only book that is available for practicing the objective uh, questions specific to food science and technology and i really appreciate the efforts that have been put in by a lot of students because uh, essentially the question because icer and cftri do not i think they do not give their questions uh, back to the students they do not allow so 
what so what happens let me tell you the mechanism so the students come back they take the examination they come back they just write down the questions and the uh, options from their memory and they send it to sanjeev sir they mail it to sanjeev sir uh, so this is what happens and he compiles all these questions and publishes these questions in the latest version so this uh, ninth edition is the latest version as of now as of uh, january 2020 so every year one edition comes up and uh, there are some minor mistakes in this book that i would like to mention as well uh, there are some questions some questions for which the co for which the answer should be something but it is mentioned something else so that could be a typo error and I am sure that Sanjeev sir is working towards that. Uh, overall, I would like to rate this book 4 out of 5 because uh, <clears throat> every book is not perfect. <laughs> the price of the book is around 500 rupees and I think it is a good investment for the students who are preparing for ICER exam or CFTR exam. And I think this is a must buy. This is really essential. One of the essential book if you are preparing for any kind of entrance exam that is connected with food science or food technology. Uh, if you want to buy this book, I have put a link down in the description so that you can go directly to uh, purchase that book on the Amazon website. Apart from that, uh, if you live in Delhi and Zia, you can go to Chani Chowk, Naisadak, and you can purchase that for a little bit cheaper price, maybe 40, 50 rupees uh, discount. All right, this was it for today. Let me know down in the comments if you want other books to be reviewed by me, and let me know if you have any kind of suggestions to improve the channel. We are targeting for 100,000 subscribers by the end of December 2020. Why am I laughing? Because this goal is really huge for this small channel and I won't be able to do that without your support so make sure you have subscribed to the channel and make sure you have hit the bell icon as well so that you don't miss my upcoming videos. I'll see you next time. Class dismissed.